Hey YouTube, this is Dave and today we're going to unbox our QNAP TS469 Pro. This is a NAS, it's a mass storage unit. It has four bays and you can use three and a halfs or even SSDs the 2.5s. And We're going to be using four three terabyte Western Digital uh, red drives. The difference between the 469 Pro and the L is three things. The Pro version has four lockable bays, which is great for business. It also has an LCD screen that you can play with the settings and also configure your RAID right out of the box without having to go to the QTS, which is their firmware that runs on this unit. The other big difference between the Pro and the L is transfer speeds for your hard drive. The Pro has 6 gigabytes per second as opposed to the L that only has 3 gigabytes per second. Big difference, just a little bit more money. It's so worth it to get the Pro. I got this at $729 and the other, the L version is, four, uh, is $599. So just $129 more, you get so much more out of your NAS. When you see 69 or 70 in the title, you know that it has an HDMI in the rear that you can connect to a big screen TV and use their software called HD Station, which allows you to do XBMC, uh, YouTube, and a full Chrome browser as well as go onto your QTS and manage your NAS. So let's get on with the unboxing. Stick around. We're going to be doing a lot more videos. I'm going to be introducing uh, HD Station. I'm going to go over a whole bunch of different apps that they have. What I like about this unit also is that it does transcoding. You can upgrade the RAM to three gigabytes. It comes with one gigabyte of RAM. It is a, a Ducor Intel Atom 2.0 one three gigahertz CPU and like I said six gigabytes per second you can't beat that so let's go and unbox this thing and I hope you stick around make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're gonna have a lot more in-depth with what we can do with our QNAP TS469 Pro first things first let me show you around the box in the front it has a picture of the NAS. It has QTS 4.0, but we really have QTS 4.1 when we upgrade our firmware. It has a little bit of a description of what it can do, and it has a whole bunch of different features like VMware, Citrix, Windows Server, and a whole bunch of other little options there. On the side here, multi-language of what it can do. FTP server, file server, backup server, VPN, web server, it can do everything. But we'll get more into that when we cover our software review. In the back here, it shows some diagrams of how you can set this up in different ways. It has a little bit more description. And on this side, it just tells you um, a little bit more about the hardware specs. So, let's get this thing open. It's got a little pull tab here. We'll open this up and on the front here it shows you welcome and it tells you exactly how to set this thing up. Step one, step two, step three and you're done. And basically you then start downloading software. Alright, first thing we got is we got some styrofoam here. We have our power cord, our usual United States power cord. We got a big piece of styrofoam here. So we're going to pull out, put aside, and then we have a box down in here, and in this box you'll find two Ethernet cables. There's a quick start guide, okay, and then we have a CD or DVD that we can use to set it up, and we also have a quick installation guide that opens up into a gigantic diagram. Now let's check out the unit itself. Let's slide this thing out. 
All right, and here's the unit. It's got rubber feet. And it is wrapped in plastic. So let's take the plastic off. All right. And we'll pull the unit out. There you have the QNAP. So here it's got a power button. It's got a USB 2.0 and a quick copy button. So if you press put a some um, you know like a image files on here or some documents on a thumb drive, you could pop it in there, hit the copy button, and configure exactly where those files go. You have lockable bay. And I'll show you. It comes with a set of keys and a bunch of screws that you can screw in. Unfortunately, this is not a toolless uh, drive. You have to use a screwdriver. Um, it looks like it's all Phillips. And you have two keys in here that we're going to make sure we don't lose. But like I said, it's a nice thing in business to have keys that lock up your drives so that they can't just be taken out and brought to another QNAP and, you know, stolen, you know. So basically, lift, you can lift these out one at a time. And you have a tray here. It's not flimsy, it's pretty tough looking. And we can put one of our drives right in there. Of course, you want to put the connection on the outside. And basically now you just have to put some screws in. I see. And the screws line up with the holes here. And then all you do basically is put them right back in with the lock side up. And they slide right back in. Just have to lift that up and close it. So then you have your drive in there. Across the front here you have a status. Uh, local area network, USB, and eSATA uh, indicator. And you have the LCD here. We'll go a little bit more about that in detail. Uh, on the side here, you have an intake vent. And in the back here is where everything is. We have power cord. We have an intake fan. We have a outflow fan for cooling. We have a Kensington lock. We have eSATA, so that you can use expansion. You have two Ethernet for dual uh, internet. And you have four USB 2.0s, two USB 3.0s. You have a VGA, uh, it's just for diagnostics. And here's the HDMI that you can hook to your TV for you know, any content you have on there to be sent out onto the big screen and controlled with a mouse keyboard or mouse trackpad or even the remote that you can buy from QNET. And that's pretty much it with the unboxing. I can't wait to get this all set up. I'm going to put all the drives in and then we'll power it up for the first time in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and I will see you on my next video. Thank you.